Errol Spence Jr. says he's making his ring return in April. Uh, I want to say this. I still don't understand why is he fighting all the way in April. If I mean, how bad was his injuries from that car accident when you clearly saw him? I mean, he was on on, t on, on live talking like nothing happened. So was his injuries that bad that he had to take four months off? Wasn't he supposed to be fighting in January? So is he resting up right now? Is he doing rehab? What what exactly were the damages? Nobody knows anything about him being hurt. What was hurt? Come on, man. You know, this is this is just more bullshit from Errol Spence. But he's coming back April and everybody's speculating. Against who? Is it Terrence Crawford? Is it gonna be Gerard Blue Tennis? Is it gonna be Keith One Tom Thurman? I think those are the only three likely opponents. And to be honest with y'all, uh I don't know, bro. He says he don't want to fight Keith Thurman, but if he don't, he gets supposedly he gets stripped. Right? Supposedly. But then, you know, when you really think about these sanctioned bodies, man, they rarely strip people, even even when they're supposed to. Like, a lot of times, they violate their own fucking rules that they make. And you know what? When you think about it, right, why would they want to strip somebody? After all, if they strip them, they don't get the sanctioning fees no more. If you really think about it, they want you to hold on to those belts as long as possible. I mean, stripping sounds good on the surface. Like, you know, they try to make it seem like they so tough and this and that and the third. But if that was the case, Errol Spence, he should have done had his IBF took him from a long time ago, right? But he still has it. So I really don't believe nothing that these sanctioned the bodies really say at this point. I just go by what they do. If you see them actually strip Spence or whoever else, like they did to Manny Pacquiao, then I'll then I'll be like, okay, cool. Well, they're just talking what they're gonna do. I don't believe it until they actually do it. That's just how I feel. But who is he fighting? He said he's not fighting Keith Thurman. I still don't know. You still got to put Thurman up there. He still might be forced to fight him if he if he claimed he want to keep his belt so he can fight for Undisputed against Bud. I mean, I don't know. So that's one scenario. He could be fight Keith Thurman even though he don't want to. Just, just you know, just deal with it. Get the fight over with. If he wins, keeps his belt. Then he goes into a fight with Terrence Crawford uh, maybe like July or something like that. Or... B, Boots it is from what I was hearing. Somebody, uh, forgot what, I think I was watching uh, Box of Dice channel. I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. He said uh, that Gerard Boots it is is officially now Errol Spence's mandatory. But I thought he was already, I thought he was already number one in the IBF. I thought, you know, he was already up there. So, we already know that Boots and Bozy Innis, they went and they petitioned the IBF so they could get a shot. They get a crack at Errol Spence's IBF title. There was a thing going around that Bozy said that Errol Spence had 120 days to fight him or vacate. Now, we don't know, you know, we can say that it means 120 days after he has a fight. So that would mean if he fights, uh, Keith Thurman, April, then Boots going to be after Keith Thurman. That's another thing. So it could be Thurman, Boots. It could be Thurman, Bud. Or it could be Boots first. Or, you know, which is which is kind of backwards. You know, why would you risk your titles with Boots when you got Terrence Crawford right there with the other, with the other piece of the puzzle? Shit, hell. Why would you even risk your belts with Keith Thurman? Y'all can say what y'all want. Anything can fucking happen. Keith Thurman is still a wild card, bro. So, why would you risk your belts with Thurman when you got Terrence Crawford right there? At this point, this thing is just a big fucking soap opera. Like I've been telling y'all, boxing is just a soap opera. This is a big soap opera, man. This is a big soap opera. Yo, it's going to be everybody going to be blaming everybody. Everybody going to blame Arrow. Everybody going to blame Bud. So it's gonna be never ended. It's gonna be hot potato with the blame and shit like that. So it's like, but everybody clearly can see who it is. We already see who it is, bro. But everybody gonna wanna believe what they wanna believe. They're gonna believe Terrence Crawford was the duck. 
when he had it in his car. I'm going to say it again. They could never. I want somebody to break this up. Talk about this in one of y'all videos, man. Why did Bud put that in his contract with Bob Arum that he wanted the fight with Spence if he was so scared that he was ducking him? Why did he tell Spence that day, hey, look, I got a belt too, so what's up? That was his exact words. This is Spence afterward. Sean Porter got a belt too. So why would I so why would I go the easy route? So why would I so why would so why would so why would so so why would so so why would so why so why would so why would I go the easy route? <laughs> you know, it's funny, like, when I heard Spence say that, it should remind me of the water boy. Remember with Bobby Boucher? When they, they was when his girl was like, Come on, I forgot what it was. She's like, Come on, we doing this. He's like, my mama said, my mama said, my mama said, my mama said. <laughs> oh my gosh, this shit is so fucking hilarious, man. But we gotta see. I get this is this is a very interesting thing. Uh, it's very interesting the way this is all playing out, bro. This shenanigans and the, the soap opera. This this let's just sit back and watch how the soap opera plays itself out. But anyway, this is Rebel Light Boxing. Who do you think? Is the next opponent for Errol Spence Jr. Keith Thurman, Terrence Crawford, or Gerard Boutinis? Or 154 pounds? Forgot about that one. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. I'll catch y'all later.